Hi, it's Rachel. And Allison. <laughs> and we're back again with another treats video. She has yeah. it already because, well, she always knows to open it. Shall we? Sure. Sure as sugar. Take a guess on what country we think it's going to be. Probably another Asian country. I don't have a problem with Asian countries. It's just I would like to get maybe like something from South America. I'm going to say Mexico. Or Central America. All right. Let's see if we can guess the flag. Oh, it's Germany. Germany. <laughs> Berlin. Welcome to Germany. Here's a recipe for sautéed German sausages. Tasty. Germany facts. The language is German. The capital is Berlin. They speak German in Germany? I know, it's a shocker, right? Over 80, 800 million currywurst are eaten in Germany each year. Soccer, called football in Europe, is the most popular sport in Germany. Over 100 Germans have been awarded the Nobel Prize for, in their field, including including Albert Einstein, who was born in Germany. Um, prison escape is not punishable by law in Germany. German law maintains that it is a basic human instinct to be free, and therefore prisoners have the right to escape jail. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah! All right. College education in Germany is free. I did know that. I got a new pen. It's got a little blue hedgehog on it. Yeah, it's a purple cat and she has a bow and the clicky is her tail. My, <laughs> my, my clicky is the hedgehog. <laughs> but he's got like scruffies on the back, like a little scrubber. It's really fun. You want me to pick? Yeah, close your eyes, reach in and pick. What is it? A lollipop, lo okay. Lollipop Love Bear Romeo. Is there more than one in here? I don't know. Nope, I think it's just we'll just that have one. to eat the same one. Alright, well it is a love pop and we are in love. Lollipop by Belphine. Okay, the picture, it's a cow, and I wish we had a cow one. It's a teddy bear with a heart. But that's cute. Yeah, but it's a cow. Would you'd rather eat a cow than a teddy bear? It's a cow's cute. <laughs> yeah, so then I would rather its head remain intact. Lollipop by Belphine are exquisitely crafted chocolate lollipops made from the finest Belgian chocolate and Madagascan cocoa beans, presented in the cute shape of a farm animal. A bear is not a farm animal. <laughs> huh. Unless they got different kinds of farms in Germany. And I'm pretty sure they don't. At least not like that. Would you like to bite first? I don't know if we do it together. I think it's a little small for that. Oh, get no more. Nah, -uh. it's hard. That's what she said. <laughs> oh no, my foot and my head. I'm in pain. Yeah, but I like made him symmetrical again in a weird way. I kind of want to keep eating it. I don't know if you guys want. That's okay. It. It's chocolate. Tastes like the chocolate I used to get in advent calendars when I was like six years old. <laughs> I don't think it tastes that bad. No, it didn't. I didn't say it was bad. I just said it tastes like that. Like it's not like the high. It's not but, high quality yeah, chocolate. But the advent calendar chocolates are disgusting. Maybe you weren't getting the right kind of advent calendar. I only ever had one as an adult. See, so there you go. Soft candy, exotic fruits, vegan, free from gelatin and artificial colors. Delicious vegan. Gummies from Germany. Each soft, chewy gummy contain no gelatin, no artificial colors, flavors, and so you can have a soft texture with a delicious, fruity flavor. So it looks like the, the, some of the flavors in here are apple, pineapple, mango, grapefruit. Yeah. This one looks like an orange slice. I don't know what this looks like. Strawberry. It's an elongated strawberry. Mm. Mm. They're good. It's a good fruit snack. They're not as like chewy fruit snacky as like Welch's here in America. This one looks like pineapple. Ananas. Is that the German word for pineapple? No. Or I can't that? remember the German word for pineapple, but that's the French word for pineapple. Oh, Do you okay. like them? They're quite good. Oh, I thought you were going to move it around a little bit. <laughs> Pa 
Palm sticks, hot and spicy. Uh oh. <laughs> hot and spicy, sunflower oil, baked potato sticks, crunchy in texture and well balanced in taste, with the texture and flavor being crispy with a spicy kick. They look like something else we've had before. They look like hot fries. Oh, I meant from like this treat box. Or what? But they're tiny. They are. They are kind of spicy. <laughs> I feel a tiny, like, I feel a tiny little bit on my tongue, but it's not enough to keep me out from eating more. They'd be good, like, in, in ramen. Let's throw on top of ramen. We kept something from another box to put in soup. Yeah. And we still haven't used it. It's in the yeah. cabinet. Let's go with some Smarties. Oh. These are different than Smarties in the US, though. It says they're made by Nestle. Well, but Nestle's all over the place. These are like candy coated. They're not like this. Yeah, color varied coated chocolate confectionery with which contain a creamy milk chocolate center with a crispy sugar shell. A long time favorite in Germany. It says, Ich bin aus Papier, which I'm pretty sure means I am made of paper. Looks it's like cool. an M&M, but yeah. like maybe a little bit. Mine's bigger. red. There's some blue ones in here. Mine's and there's orange. purple. Cheers. I like them. They taste like Sixlets. Sixlets. I was gonna say that. Sixlets. Six, is it Sixlets or Sixlets? Six Me less sweet, but still kind of. Yeah. Because Sixlets are made. Sixlets are made of made with carob, not chocolate. Did you know that? I don't know what that is. Carob is like a chocolate alternative. Oh. You can actually feed it to dogs. Oh. Yeah, it tastes similar Interesting. to chocolate. Interesting! I don't think anything in here is going to be weird. Because I don't think Germany eats like weird, like like things that we would consider odd flavored. These are in the middle. The only thing that's been weird is like seafood type things. Yeah. <sighs> but even you it's like weird. It's weird for, for an American, but not for other people. You're weird for an American. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> What's this? I guess we can try it. Curly peanut classic. Ooh, peanuts. Mm. It's like a cheese puff, but it's peanut. It's made by the same people that made the hot and spicy palm sticks. Delectable corn snack covered in covered in freshly ground peanuts. Wonderfully crunchy in texture with a mouth-watering savory taste that melts on your tongue. Curly is truly an irresistible treat to munch on. You blinked. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing that. It's like a brown and tan Cheeto. Tastes like it tastes like peanuts. You already taste not it. Not taste it. Smells. You never wait for me to taste it. Sorry, I meant smell. I did not put it in my mouth. I meant smell. Put it in my nose. Do it. Sneeze. Oh, it does. It is very peanut fragranted. <laughs> All right, ready? It's all right. It's like eating a peanut butter covered Cheeto. Yeah. I, minus the cheese. Also, whenever I think of peanut butter, I always assume it's gonna be like sweet. So I'm kinda, it's, it's throwing me off a little bit. There's something I used to eat that tasted like that and not pe balls or something. And they were like crunchy on the outside, but when you bit into them, it was peanut butter on the inside. Ooh. Sounds good. Let's try Kinder Bueno, which we have which here. Which we have. I think you bought one once with the intention of us sharing it, and you ate both pieces. So I've never tried it. Oh. You remember that? I don't remember ever saying we were going to try it together. Yeah, I feel you were like, like I bought it and I was like, I'm so going to buy can this. try it. I don't know. This. Um, so do you want to, I feel like we should probably just eat the one half. Yeah. Like the one. Like Crispy. the one quick. I'm gonna eat the left bueno. In case Crispy you guys chocolate covered wafer bars with a rich hazelnut cream filling. They come wrapped in two individually sealed plastic sleeves. So you can eat one and save the other for later. Oh yeah. It, it this one was broken in half, but they usually look like this. I'm gonna put my fingers all over Rachel's half. There you go. Quick. Ready? Okay, yes you are. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. 
They taste like the Kinder Hippos, which are like my favorite Kinder food since you can't get like the OG Kinder eggs in America anymore. And I didn't even really like those because I'm not a huge fan of like just the straight chocolate. I just like the toys inside. I'm gonna put this in best. Yeah. Because that creamy is. So was this better than the one we had, you had from here? I wonder if it was a little, a little bit different. I don't remember. Why don't they pick one up and compare? Saltlets, sticks. It just looks like pretzel sticks. Yay! I love pretzels. She does. They're like my favorite snack. Soft more than hard, but I won't complain. That's what she said. Savory pretzels baked to a crispy golden hue. When saltlets appear, it's officially time to snack. In production since 1935, these pretzels are sprinkled with the highest quality of sea salt, contained in salt gardens. I love how long they are. They're, well, they're salt gardens? Yeah, that's how they get salt. Like They like collect water and lay it out and let the water evaporate and it leaves the salt behind. I didn't know that's how you yeah. got sea salt. I'm a walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo, No, very talented. It's very balanced. Can you reach it? <laughs> oh, God. I'm just eating your shirt. I almost had it. Yeah, I ate my new shirt. They're just pretzels. I really like them though. They're fine. They have a slightly more like toasted flavor mm -hmm. to them than the pretzels I'm just eating. And I want to clarify that when I said I like soft better but I won't complain if they're hard. I will complain if it's supposed to be a soft pretzel and it's hard. Because that's rude. Let's try some mamba. I'm sure that Mamba, we have yeah. Here. yeah. This one's orange flavored. Delicious I've never had fruit them. chews with a del delightfully satisfying treat with a long last fruity flavor. Perfect for whenever you feel a sweet tooth. So, those are a little individually wrapped, guys. I feel like I've had one before, but I don't remember. I feel like it's just gonna be kind of like a Starburst. You're there. And there's little like specks in it. So I don't know quite what the specks are, but they would lead people to believe that there, it, there's like real fruit in there, you know? It's yeah, like, kind of like a it's Starburst. It's like identical to a Starburst. I don't think Starburst would have this flavor. They do have orange. Oh. Oh, this is orange? Yeah. I thought you said it was mango. No, it says orange. Orange. No, orange. Huh? What did you just call me? Spanish word for orange. Anyway, naranja is orange for span or Spanish for orange. It's orange for Spanish? <laughs> when did you learn how to speak orange? <sighs> it was a really like niche class. Yeah. <laughs> it almost has a creamsicle flavor at the end though. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. So this next one is a Honig stick. Mild de kleiner portion zum Susen. The smallest portion of sweet. It's kind of cute. Honey stick is a stick of honey with a smooth, mild flavor sourced from the nectar of white acacia blossoms. Enjoy naturally or used to sweeten beverages yeah. like milk. I think we're gonna have to double dips on this one or double squeeze. I guess I'll go for it. Oh, it's like not, it's a little bit more liquidy than regular honey, so there must be some additives to it. It's just straight honey. And I, I I enjoy honey on things. I don't usually like to eat it by itself. It's not bad though. Yeah, you can finish it. <laughs> I knew that's where that was going. Well, it is mild. It is a very it is a mild honey, I will say. Because I've definitely had stronger honey flavor, like honey. I could put it on a biscuit. And a last but it. certainly not least <clears throat> oh, is a Milka Oreo original. Do we have something very similar to this in the U.S. or had, I believe. Filled with delicious and crunchy Oreo biscuit bits inside and covered with rich Milka milk chocolate on the outside. This is what it looks like. Yeah, it's very like airy. I think 
They they're like those arrow candies that candy bars that we used to have here, chocolate bars. But I also think we have an Oreo flavored bar here. Probably. The chocolate's not that good. Yeah, I don't really like it because the chocolate is kind of gross. Once again, if it was dark chocolate, it'd be way better. <laughs> Everything's better with dark chocolate. <laughs> Nothing super strange this time. I think we're just very worldly when it comes to snacks. It was all pretty good. I, I didn't like dislike anything. I mean, I wasn't a fan of the Oreo or really that. <laughs> creation creature <laughs> thing over there. My favorite would probably be the gummies. Yeah, those were good. Yeah. I like pretzels, so if I had to pick one of the salty things, it would be this one. What do you think? I think that one was my favorite. Yeah. I Nothing appreciate was... that they gave us something vegan. I mean, neither one of us are vegan or or um, vegetarian, but inclusive, yay! I mean, some of these others might be vegan too, but this one is very proud to be vegan. Yeah, it's very big on the package. <laughs> I think vegan is bigger than the name of the product. It, it was. I thought that they were called vegans. <laughs> and I was like, that's interesting. Well, while you uh, go ham on that stick over there. He's dead now. Oh, I think he was dead when you bit his part of his head off. <laughs> I don't think he would have survived a wound that <laughs> heinous. It was just a flesh wound. Okay. That would have been like his leg getting cut off like when I ate it. Not like this half of the, he got like a lobotomy. You have anything you would like to add? I got nothing else. <laughs> All right. I didn't, know, I didn't know what else to say. Not about that, just the video in general. Oh. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, Join us next time on Sweet Treats and some Salty, hopefully, with Rachel and Allison. <laughs> You're goofy. <laughs> I love you. Oh, my God. Okay, bye. Bye.